thought that sending us out here to examine erratically behaving local wildlife was foolish, but their vital signs are through the roof. Imagine if we came across a wildcat or bear instead of these cuddly guys. Who's a cute little? You are. Yes, you are. You're a cute little. <laughs> My guess is they've been infected with something man-made. Dangerous to humans? <laughs> Depends where it came from. If it's in the water, it could wipe out the planet. There! I see something big! It's a buck! Or a caribou? <laughs> or... Dr. Dismay? Al, Nosy, Emmett, we're under attack. Dr. Dismay is approaching the outpost. Lock it down. He's got a briefcase. Could be a bomb. Dismay, stop right there. Don't come any closer. She said stop. I can't. I need your help. Please. I'm dying. Once upon a time, there were two orphans, a boy and a girl, left to fend off the world all on their own. Until I took them in. I'm Al. I run the Academy, a training ground for boys and girls of uh, unique talents. So now they have me and each other, and it's cool. They're growing up fast, real fast. He's a prize-winning surfer, a poet, and an expert safecracker. She knows fencing, etiquette, and explosives. They're masters of disguise, martial arts experts, and fluent in 20 languages. They're Delilah and Julius, and they're saving the world one crime at a time, baby. I know it sounds crazy, but he does seem to have the same symptoms as the wildlife. All right, man. You've got like a minute to explain your connection. This is what I've been trying to tell you, baby. I developed an anti-sleep serum. I was testing it on the animals when zip! I accidentally injected myself. So, what's the problem? Fix it. Uh, what's the problem? What isn't the problem? I can't figure out the antidote, baby, and time's running out on me. My organs are in overdrive, deprived of the sleep and rejuvenation they need. Then why come to us, man? I knew you were here and that you'd have to help me. You can't let me die. <laughs> we can, and we will. <laughs> no, you can't. You're Goody and Two Shoes, Peachy and Keen, Honey Bunch and Dreamboat. You're the good guys. You can't and won't risk this thing spreading. <laughs> I don't trust him. But he's our only lead in what could amount to a mass infection. Sloppy scientists make me sick. I'm gonna see how Nosy and Emmett are coming along. We'll check out his lab coordinates. He brought a briefcase full of notes with him. I'll get to work on an anti-sleep anti-serum. I just, I can't work with my sworn enemy. Sometimes you have to make deals with the bad guys, D. Well, I guess you would know. Ooh, touche. But I only work with Tibor to protect the people I who are important to me. This is it? Hey boss, it's not perfect, but your sleep lab's ready. In record time, too. You can set Dismay up in there and test him 24-7. Great. Scarlet's working on the antidote. And you'll both be working with her. Awesome, boss. We've been sitting around here for days doing nothing, but now it's time for action! Yeah! We're ready for anything! Uh, far out, man. Stay cool. Um, 
Note the lack of traps. Or security system. Hmm. <laughs> or locks. <laughs> As if dismay would ever work in these conditions. We're talking about a guy who collects Malibu beach houses for a hobby. This is a decoy. I knew we couldn't trust him. Al? He's lying. The lab he sent us to is a decoy. Oh, man. All right. I'll get the truth out of him. Okay, Doc, you stopped me from my midnight snack, so now you're going to fess up. What are you really up to? I told you everything already, baby! Do you know what I have in this narrow wooden case, Doc? I'll tell you what it ain't. A golden pillow. It's something to make you talk, Doc. A brilliantly simple technique I learned from some Cold War comrades. I didn't break. Will you? <gasps> Hear that? Yeah. We're not alone. And, uh, it's moving. <laughs> so are we! <laughs> Torture, Al, baby. I know that. Everybody knows that. Oh, it's not torture. It's information <laughs> gathering. What's in the box? Show me or leave me alone. This. A feather? <laughs> what are you gonna do with a feather? Force me to write an old-fashioned letter? No, but I'm glad you asked. What are you really up to, <laughs> man? No! Tell me! <laughs> Tell me! It's my father! It's my father. Camera disabled. Well, well, well. What a surprise. The professor. So much for dismay working on his own. The nurse is looking buff and manly. Hey, kiddos. I got something out of the good doctor, man. He's in on it with his dad. He says he's infected himself because the professor needed a human subject. That's sweet. Looking for his father's approval. So what do we do? Well, if we don't come up with an antidote, they'll dump the serum into the Great Lakes, man. They'll infect the world. Right, well, do we have an antidote? No, we do not. Well, then I guess we've got to save the world. You got it, kiddos. Work fast. Okay, we gotta get that serum. We can go in through the basement. I say they'll dump it in the Great Lakes either way. They're just evil. Locked. It's all yours. Good work. There's nothing here. It's been swept clean. Upstairs we go. Never. Shh. Right up. <gasps> oh, hello, nurse. <sighs> okay, Dismay. I've isolated 1,074 compounds which could counteract your serum. Hey, Scarlet. We're here and on duty. What do you need us to do? Security? Muscle? Yeah! Pain management? There's pencils over there. I need you to note the results for each one of these compounds. No 
results? Why do we get our hopes up, Nose? Oh. Tell her to let us go, so... What is this place? It's like an isolation chamber. Compound 37. Feel tired? I'm more awake than ever. Let's run a marathon. Compound 37, compound 37, oh, oh. compound 37. Failure. This is so boring. Here, take this. Tape? What do I need tape for? My new staying awake technique. Hey, thanks, man. You're a genius. Compound 38. <laughs> Oh, it's no use, D. There's got to be a way out of here. A safety release or something, or a weak spot. You know who would know how to get out of this trap? The person I hate talking to the most? It's okay, it's okay. I have questionable morals, so I'll call. Al, you there? Al. Uh, D? What? Our communicators don't get a signal in here. So? So, uh, you have the satellite phone. <laughs> okay, I'm at the lab. Nosy and Emmett are working with Scarlet. We're working with Scarlet. Huh. Mind if I leave you alone, big guy? I have an idea. Maybe the only good one I've had all night. Unfortunately, I gotta do this. Okay, Dismay. Tell them what they need to know, or you will never, ever see Scarlet's antidote. Is that you, Lollipop? No. Gumdrop! How nice to hear your voice. Dismay, how do we get out of this isolation chamber? Oh, gee. I really have no idea. I'd love to help you, but... Listen up, Dismay. Answer me now and make it good. And everything else you say to me better be the absolute truth or I promise you any discomfort you feel is only the smallest fraction of the retribution I will bring down on you when this is over. You've got a belly of fire, honey bunch. Make sure it doesn't turn to ash. I don't like you, Dismay. I don't like talking to you. I don't like working with you. And I don't like helping you. So cough up the answer and don't waste words. Fine. There's a panel under the northernmost corner tile. Wow. Foxy. <laughs> Success! Huh? What? Huh? What? Nonsense! An anti-serum derived from the drool of sleeping teenagers? Pfft, impossible! Hey, I'm almost not a teenager. Oh, it's very possible, sugar. I realized that teenage boys have increased hormonal levels that could be isolated and enhanced. And here we are. I would be very surprised, flabbergasted, if it weren't. The kind of intricate chemical modifications necessary are far beyond what you're capable of in this facility. I would wager that- I work fast. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good night. 
Thanks for your help, boys. You can go back to... Well, good night to you, too. Delana, Julius? What's up, Scarlet? This may you sleeping like a baby, dig? You're amazing, Scarlet. That's good. We can use that to reason with the professor. Thanks. Pony up! Professor, <gasps> hand over the serum! Never! We found an antidote! We cured your son. Now give us the serum. Oh, but our idea wasn't to get the antidote or infect the world. We want to get the antidote and infect the world. What? Ugh, I knew it. Should have listened to your instincts. Now we're going to hold the world ransom. All thanks to you Academy types for making the antidote. It's useless. We'll never give you the antidote now. Are you sure about that? just left him, Julius. But I'll check again if you want. I'll call you back, but my bet is he's sleeping like a baby. Big, evil baby. <laughs> Dismay! <laughs> Professor, now! Even if I wanted to give it to you, you're too late. I don't have it. She does! <laughs> and once it enters the water system, it's game over, baby. Only I have the antidote. Start the bidding. We have to stop this. Let go, Professor. Never! It wasn't a question. <laughs> 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 back yet. Scarlet, you there, Scarlet? <laughs> no answer. Call Nosy. Nosy, come in. Ah! Nosy, are you on? Uh, I am now. Good, go check on Dismay and be careful. Okay, Dismay, don't try any funny stuff. Ah! Not good. Thanks for the antidote and the power nap suckers. He woke up and escaped, Julius. How did he wake up? The evil have mysterious ways, Julius, and travel alarm clocks. Dismay took the chopper. My keys are gone. He could be here any second. Take the controls, Julius. Anything to bargain with, Dismay. Land the helicopter, now! Oh, I can't land it, baby. I'm not flying. Scarlet! You see, I do have someone to bargain with. Now hand over the serum and my father, or she never leaves the helicopter. Get it? You want your father? You can have him. <laughs> you wouldn't let him fall, Gumdrop. You're the good guy. Remember? You yeah. broke that deal, Dismay, and now all bets are off. Two can play at that game, baby. Come on, pretty face. Who's gonna fly this chopper? Nice try. Even I know this whirlybird can fly itself. Autopilot activated. I can't believe you're doing this. After I created the anti serum for you. That was then. This is now, baby. I want 
My father and the serum, which he drops. It's good to want things, so what'll it be, Doc? You don't have the gumption, Gumdrop. When you work with bad people, you end up doing bad things. Wave goodbye, Professor. She won't do it. I tried to save you! I'm your son! My son? I have no son. Any son of mine wouldn't have fallen for a stunt like that! <laughs> Poor Doc. Seems like he had a rough childhood. I guess you were right, Dee. You can never trust the bad guys. Yeah, but it feels good to play by their rules sometimes. You are getting foxier and foxier by the minute. <sighs> oh, give me a break, Cookie and Crumpet. Put me in prison, please. I can't listen to these two anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no.